grassroots football is what we do. Uh, it's fantastically important to have so many young girls uh, out here running around at Darabin for our second uh, Girls FC. Uh, this year we've got over 50 teams, which is a 20% increase uh, on the 2014 and over 530 girls participating. It's a great opportunity for them pre-season uh, to come out, run around, uh, get some uh, game experience and practice before the season starts uh, and just have fun playing with their friends and their mates. Like this, it does require a fair bit of effort. Most of that is liaison with the clubs, so uh, we rely on the volunteers who do a great amount of work here. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, I could only have dreamed of this when I was a kid, mm. and so yeah, it's, the weather's beautiful, everyone's enjoying it. You've just heard a few bundle of people cheer. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty satisfying when something like this. There's a lot, look, there's a lot of hard work that goes on behind the scenes for something like this to happen as well. So um, credit definitely to the to the lads behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's really satisfying when you get the weather, you get the turnout, and everyone's having a good time. So yeah, it's, it's a good feel. It's a great opportunity for young girls who are not sure if they want to enter the game of soccer to give it a try. Um, and I know from experience that's where my daughter started nine years ago. She went to a, an all-girl tournament, fell in love, and has been playing non-stop ever since. And we've got a strong contingent here. We've got five girls teams here, um, including two under-16 teams. So excellent opportunity for young girls. Also a lot of fun, great opportunity for the parents to get together and relax and enjoy the weekend um, and meet the players from other clubs. It, it's competitive, but it's also a really positive spirit. I think having a girls' gala day is a very important factor for grassroots football. Um, it's great to see that there's 50 girls' teams playing today um, and it's grown significantly since I started playing. Having the girls doing pre-season training with the ball and actually enjoying themselves and having fun with friends is, is yeah, very, very important. It's an awesome tournament for the younger girls. It's good to see one to get to know each other, uh, to be ID'd, to see what you're against and uh, it's just a good socialise for young girls, it's a good pathway. Um, I'd say take this opportunity with both hands because when we were younger we didn't have this opportunity. So it's awesome to meet new friends, see what quality is out there in different regions in Victoria and just come here and have a blast. Well I think this is a great grassroots thing to start for the girls because a lot of girls do start later whereas boys it's like you know as soon as they can walk they can kick a ball so this is really encouraging girls to start from a young age and then from that young age to aspire and be a professional footballer. We got to meet some of the Mel um, Melbourne, Melbourne Victory, Victory girls. girls. Yeah. Well, they're really nice. Yeah, yeah. And, we, and they signed our boots and top. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you want to be like them someday? Yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. Too shy to say it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm uh, Chris Hope, the Youth Referee Development Manager at FFE and uh, today at Girls FC we've got 24 referees and um, 15 of them are female and 22 are in their first year so we've got um, some referee mentors who've come down today and they're looking after these referees and they'll be in their green shirt so it's a great opportunity for them to be involved in uh, you know what's a great event participation wise. So we just introduce ourselves before the match and uh, make sure that they're ready and they're comfortable with their match and then at the end of the game we sort of just debrief with them obviously say a lot of positive things with um, the development and then just a few things that they can better well they, they know that they're supported um, I think that's the main part when 
you're coming up and you're by yourself, you need to know that you're supported. Um, sometimes they know what they're doing and they just need someone to just reassure them and say that they're doing the right thing and that they're not by themselves. And at this point, that we want referees to enjoy what they're doing and not be criticised over it. Um, they give feedback of what you're doing good and what you can improve on. It's really good to get a different perspective of not just people off field like your parents, but a professional view, and I find that really helpful to improve. Uh, well, I used to play, um, but I moved and so I decided to become a referee instead. Really uh, it's really good because this is a competition where young players can get involved in the game. And it's their first time, and it's really important because it introduces them to the game and how to play. It's a friendly competition, and they really get to experience. excited about the uh, opportunity for them to develop as officials and you know see what they might be out there absolutely it's um, you know it's vital for them to uh, to come to events like this particularly early on and uh, be involved in development and and get these mentors to, to just support them and guide them through their first couple of games and that's really important in, in the refereeing pathway Well, I'm the coach of the Mount Beauty Football Club. Um, we're basically a small football club in North East Victoria. Um, we brought with us today 26 girls, three teams, um, ageing from basically about seven years of age all the way up to 14 years of age. Well, we've come about 500 kilometres to be here, um, so it's a bit of been a bit of a trip. Um, the girls have had a bit of an overnight stay and part of the enjoyment of coming here is to be out of Mount Beauty and to actually come to the big city and um, they've had a great time. Well for the club it's been fantastic because uh, what this actually does is lead into our um, winter program um, and so really it's all about getting girls involved in soccer. A lot of the girls here have only played soccer for the first time by coming to these tournaments. Um, and it, as I said, it's led into our, uh, into our winter, which has really increased the numbers in the club. You know, it's events like this that help um, foster and push the development of, of not only soccer but you know particularly girls soccer yeah. um, and um, you know I think it's a it's, it's a fantastic initiative and I think you know I think there need to be more, you know if anything more events like this to to help help boost the game along across across the girls so look it's it's fantastic to see, to see you know the camaraderie amongst the girls um, you know the support also amongst the families and the parents and also just seeing them have fun and, and, and develop you know and I think at, at the end of the day part of the enjoyment also comes from from um, getting better um, at the game and, and, and being more competitive and you know kids will thrive on, on, on being competitive and also winning so um, it's all part of the enjoyment. So basically we're a new community based club and I've got a philosophy to make football big for women and there's hope for women so it's a fantastic setup. it's a great weekend, very family orientated, um, the facilities here are very good like it's one of the best facilities we've got here in Victoria so why not better to have a weekend event where we bring families together and live their life and you know play the sport we love.
Yeah, look, it's been a fantastic weekend. Um, I've interacted with a lot of the girls and the smiles on their faces. It's it's remarkable. Um, and you know what? That's what football is all about. The girls have had a great weekend. It's been competitive, but they've enjoyed themselves as well. I think women's football has progressed in Australia, and the Girls FC tournament is yeah testament to that. Give it a go. Find a club that um, has a strong um, ethic and is really positive about girls' soccer and give it a go. You've got nothing to lose. It's fantastic. Don't take it too seriously. Just enjoy being out there on the field, playing with your friends and um, you know, just learning the sportsmanship of the game. Uh, first and foremost, enjoy what you do. Um, that's the motto that I live by. Um, if you don't enjoy something, there's no point doing it. And even though there'll be challenges along the way, when you come to days like this, it just reiterates, um, yeah, the little girl that's inside of you actually loves this game.